going on, YouTube community? It's your boy, YFGM Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, I just want to do a little quick recap of the showdown, the big showdown that happened Wednesday night against the Indiana Pacers versus the Miami Heat. We all know what's been going on. We all know that this is a, a, a big, big, you know, thing in the NBA. Now they have like a little mini rivalry now as far as the Heat and the Pacers because uh, these could possibly be the two teams meeting up in the Eastern Conference Finals again. You guys already know what happened last year in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Pacers felt like they was they should have won the, you know, the, won the Eastern Conference Finals. They was a couple, couple plays away from winning it. They made some mistakes. They hate the Miami Heat, so they look forward to play the Heat every time because they feel like they can beat them and, and, and take that crown for them, which I honestly do believe because they honestly... Minus the turnovers, they have all the pieces for real. And even with Scola and a couple other additions and, and Stevenson getting better, they have all the pieces to beat the Miami Heat. Paul George, emerging star, who, who's who's showing that he can possibly be the MVP of this league. They are not scared of the Miami Heat. And, you know, every time they play them, they're looking to beat them. Even though it was just a regular season game and the Miami Heat players and was down playing it, they wanted this. They wanted this because they knew if they would have lost this game, it would have been in their head, especially come April. And it's obvious these two teams will meet because the Eastern Conference just sucks. There's nobody in there that's going to – when you only have two teams that's over 500 and doing something, it's it sucks. Now, maybe if the Brooklyn Nets can get rolling, that can probably be the only team. But other than that, the other teams, no. So that's why people are already pushing Miami Heat and Pacers to meet in the Eastern Conference Finals again. And – you know, it looked like it, it may happen. And when it do happen, I'm telling you, it's going to be another showdown. It might go seven games. And at the, and honestly, I don't think it's going to matter about who have home court because them Pacer boys are looking to kill the Miami Heat. Now, Dwayne Wade had a hell of a game. 30, what, 35 points? Great game. I knew he was probably going to try to show up and play hard because they was usually talking to him the most as far as about this up-and-coming game against the um, Indiana Pacers. Now, we all know... You know, after the victory of the Pacers, what, a week ago, a week or two ago, they were still talking, pretty much ready for this game. Ready for the game at the second game. So they was already talking. I guess you kind of say he was talking crap. So they talked it. They backed it up, but they lost because of a couple couple of plays down the stretch that was made by LeBron James, Ray Allen, and just the Heat rally, that 10-point run that they had towards the end of the game. And, um... But the Pacers didn't get blown out. They only lost about three points. So they was there in the game. It's not like they wasn't in there in the game. I mean, they was up about 15 points at one point. But then the Heat just started to play a little bit better. You know, Paul George got more go going um, in the second half, even though he still wanted to figure out a way to just find ways to score when LeBron James, um, you know, you know, uh, on him. Because when LeBron James on him, he kind of struggled to score a little bit. So he's just going to have to find ways to score when LeBron James on him. You know, go off a little, lot of screens, pick and rolls or something. But, um, you know, LeBron James, he got going. You know, he hit a, he hit a three or whatever. And Ray Allen hit a three. Chris Bosh hit a three. Now, I will say this. I feel like the, the the Pacers, they got cheated a little bit. Because that last play when, when, when Paul George was shooting that ball, it's obvious you saw LeBron James go into his body. It's obvious. But they weren't going to call that play on LeBron James in South Beach. He got that superstar mentality. Just like people say Kobe Bryant. They wasn't calling a lot of, you know, he he gets a lot of calls, you know. It's going to happen like that when you're a superstar. And you in that superstar arena, it was going to happen like that. But um, overall, this game, it was just another game pretty much showing that these two teams are going to put on the show when they meet in the Eastern Conference Finals. And it's either going to be the Heat three-peating or it's going to be the Pacers going into the NBA Finals, trying to win their championship. But uh, great, great game. I'm looking forward to see them play again. I'm looking forward to see them play in the playoffs. And I know a lot of people still feel like just because LeBron James is on the court, the Heat can, I guess, run through the Indiana Pacers. No, the Heat is going to need everybody to play. LeBron James just can't do it on his own because of that size and the paint. And that's another thing. It's obvious you guys can see. When Roy Hibbert is on the court, the Heat field goal percentage is very low. When he's off the court, it goes up because now you don't have that other big body. You don't have that big body in the paint. So you got a guy like LeBron James who pretty much scores mostly and get his field goal percentage up high from going to the basket. And you have a guy like D. Wade, you know, pretty much the same way. 
that that's that that opens everything up for them. And it's obvious, you know, he was in foul trouble, so that that hurt him. He couldn't really get going because he was in foul trouble. Because if he was he, if he wasn't in foul trouble, they they probably would have lost. He would have lost. So at the end of the day, man, you know, the Heat know that this team can beat them. But of course, a lot of people is not going to give the Pacers credit yet. But until the Pacers actually beat them, the Heat is probably going to still be that top team above them. You know, that's why it's going to come down to home court. You know, both teams are going to fight to keep home court. But I think, honestly, the Heat at some point, they're going to have a, a, a mental breakdown because they just been, they played a lot of basketball. You think about it, they went from playing in the Olympics, LeBron James. I, I can't remember if D-Wade played. That's crazy. I can't remember if he played. LeBron James, Olympics, basketball, NBA season, playoffs, finals. Then to do it over again, then to try to do it again, it's a lot. So that team, I think, is going to break down at some point, you know. But, uh, you know, and also, you know, I want to talk about the whole LeBron James and Mario Chalmers situation. Big deal. They was in the heat of the moment. Emotional. It happens. No damn big deal. It happens. You know, people made a big deal out of it. You know, they're supposed to be little brother Mario Mario Chalmers. Seems like LeBron James always getting into him. I think he's getting into him just to try to make him play a little bit better, you know, stuff like that. I don't think it's really no big, big deal. But this was the first time I seen LeBron get that damn emotional. Honestly, I can't think of another time he got that emotional, emotional. But um, you know, you guys oh let me read some little stats real quick. Let me read some stats. Let me little box score. You guys know I like to do that. David West, 8 of 15, 23 points. Paul George, 8 of 16, uh, 25 points. Um, Roy Hibber only has 6 points because he got in foul trouble a lot. George Hill only has 7 points. Lance Stevenson, 5 and 9, 13 points. Luis Scola, 8 points. Um, those guys, Luis Scola and, and Rasul Butler and C.J. Watson is going, and Chris Copeland, are going to help this team out even better. Um, they shot 43% from the field. Shane Battier for the Heat, no factor. LeBron James, 8 of 14, 24 points. Uh, 9 rebounds. Chris Bosh, 5 of 10, 15 points. Mario Chalmers, 4 points. Dwayne Wade, 15 of 25, 32 points. It's obvious he was getting the ball fed to him. And as far as bench play, there wasn't really too much going on, going on. But uh, they, Miami Heat shot 48% from the field. So once again, man, final score of this game was 97-94. The Indian Pacers pretty much gave the game away because they had a nice little lead. And they just didn't finish it off. Um, but I know a lot of you Heat fans and Heat, and, you know, Heat Nation, y'all know the Pacers are coming. Y'all know y'all scared. Don't act like y'all don't have a little bit of fear in you. Just because you have the best basketball player on the team don't mean that you can't have a little fear in you. He can't do every damn thing. You still need help from those other guys. You know, but anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. Check out my previous videos. Comment, subscribe, favorite, like, share. And I'm out. Deuces.